Thank you. Apologies to Jared for having to read that. I thought it would just be posted. <laughs> Didn't think anybody else would have to go through that shame. Honestly, the youth in this room, I mean, if we could harvest it, I don't mean figuratively, I mean literally, like overlord style, if I could just suck it all and just go back 20 years, that would be uh, bliss. Anyway, sorry to get dark on you. Um, just want to talk to you <laughs> about urban mobility, uh, I suppose, and what we've got going on at General Motors in this space. Uh, and there's a giant clock here, and I'm not going to tell anyone that it's stuck on 459 to squeeze out a little more. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, crap. Um, so, uh, I, as I start with any of these conversations about urban mobility with a quote from Mary Barra, our chairman and CEO, uh, who says, our goal is to disrupt ourselves and own the customer relationship beyond the car. Emphasis being for General Motors, uh, beyond the car. She was talking, uh, she gave that uh, response when uh, some companies were talking, or some journalists were talking about our competition and what's happening in the automotive industry. So, you know, if I were to ask you, and I didn't, so you'll just have to trust me, uh, who uh, our competitors are, General Motors, I suspect we would have heard a lot of things like Toyota and Ford, uh, wishful in both cases uh, for them, not us, Honda and a few others, but really these are the competitors that matter to us in 2017 and have for the past year, two years or so. Um, extra points if you notice that that first line actually spells out uh, a sentence that your Spanish grandmother may say to you. Uh, anyways, uh, so for us, disrupt it's Ola, grab goat carefully, by the way, if you're trying to follow. Um, so for us, the first evidence of that self-disruption or innovation was the creation of our urban mobility brand, Maven. Maven is about a year old, uh, just over a year old, and is meant to be our uh, mobility as a service brand. So where we have Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, and Cadillac uh, selling cars, largely great cars, fantastic cars, but still very much the core of our business, Maven is really going in a rather different direction. And what uh, Maven is doing is really enabled by decisions we made 20 years ago in investing in platforms like OnStar, our uh, telematics and infotainment system. So just so you know, we get into industry speak a lot pretty quickly uh, at GM. So when we talk urban mobility, this is an oversimplification of what we mean by over urban mobility. And these are really just think of all the forms of movement from A to B uh, in a city, in a major city, and that's really what we're talking about uh, urban, when we talk about urban mobility. As it relates to General Motors and where we're investing right now, we're investing aggressively in a subset of these areas. So e-bikes or electric bikes, uh, we're actively developing electric bikes, and that work is actually being done in Canada. Uh, ride sharing services, uh, vehicle sharing services, uh, and of course, uh, owned, owned vehicles. Uh, shaded out public transportation there, but a lot of these things, uh, what's happening next is particularly in a progressive government, uh, ironically, uh, like the liberal government that we have currently, um, you know, a real focus on transit solutions in major cities, uh, innovation and public-private partnerships, most importantly, which is a real interest for us, uh, particularly when you're dealing with an industry like automotive that is so regulated and you know putting a car on the road without a person behind it you know it's kind of uh, a big deal uh, anyways uh, General Motors in Canada uh, our president Steve Carlisle handsome man um, we see I don't know why that's relevant uh, it's not to be honest some of you may think he's quite unattractive it's the point is it's not relevant <laughs> Uh, how you look to run General Motors, um, but I've hit my ceiling, just so you know. Uh, we see a future, as Steve calls it, that's, um, there was too much laughter for that vain comment, but anyways, we see a future that's increasingly connected, electric, shared, and autonomous. And notice how my heels punctuated every one of those points, because the nail is going through the leather. Uh, anyways, so Steve has been on the road, Steve came back to Canada, He's Canadian, but he, his whole of his 
career with General Motors has been outside of Canada. He came back to Canada about um, a couple of years ago, and he's really been promoting uh, one minute left. I, I know. Okay, never mind what he's been doing. Just trust me, that's what Steve said. So uh, for us, when we talk about these four elements, connected, shared, electric, and autonomous, right now we've got plays in each of these areas. The connected car enabled by OnStar, shared enabled by uh, some of the Maven services, but also our equity investment in Lyft. Uh, the electric car in the Bolt EV, uh, and General Motors is the number one seller of electric vehicles. And then our recent acquisition of Cruise Automation, which has already seen us deploy self-driving vehicles uh, in a couple cities um, in the U.S. This, I'll just let them play in the background while we're doing uh, Q&A. Uh, auto people at General Motors get really excited about dash cam footage. Uh, this is dash cam footage from our autonomous vehicle, so you can see the daylight and the nighttime um, uh, experience. They're on YouTube. These aren't Russian dash cam videos, so there's no like meteorite about to come down or flame <laughs> fireball. Uh, but you'll see a raccoon if you're interested. So we'll let that play, and we'll just take some uh, Q&A. So thanks for enduring that. Oh yeah, and we're hiring. We're hiring. So if you want to work in campus casing, you would not believe the benefits we have for employees who go up to campus casing, but honestly, everyone here, Markham, is where it's at. Okay, questions. questions. Fantastic. Enjoy your evening, every... <laughs> was it the hashtag? Points? At midnight? On at midnight? Sometimes 11.30? It's confusing. Yes, question over here. When I say over here, I mean generally in this vicinity. You uh, marked down in your presentation that you were looking at e-bikes as well. Where are those going to be sold within your overall company? Like, are they going to be sold at the place you sell general motor cars, or are you going to be opening up another distribution? distribution? Uh, that's one of those slides that was supposed to be edited before it went to a public audience, so it kind of rolled with it and hoped nobody would build off of that. <laughs> I can see you're a student of improv and are into yes anding. Uh, so TBD on e-bikes, but... Um, It'll be really easy to get one, and you'll love it. <laughs> Question by the RBC logo that's been cut in half, which is no biggie. It's not like this is their building. Um, yeah, when, if ever, do you think I'm not going to be able to be allowed to drive in downtown Toronto with you know, the advances of autonomous cars? Sorry, can you repeat that? There were a lot of negatives in there. <laughs> <laughs> When will autonomous cars get so advanced that oh. I'm not going to be able to be allowed to drive in downtown Toronto? Oh, not be allowed to drive? Well, yeah. that's a whole other conversation. Uh, it's true that the self-driving car will be better than anybody here, no matter how great you think you are, gentlemen. Um, <laughs> although women, if you're an actuary, but they've got facts. Uh, anyways, uh, I don't know when, but I can tell you autonomous vehicles are much closer than any of us think. Uh, autonomous vehicles will be on the road in pilot form uh, test fleets in Canada this year. Um, and as a commercial application, it is much closer than you think. Maybe even closer than our e-bikes. Who knows? <laughs> but maybe not. I'm not going to tell you. Yes. Last question. That was sudden. I know the pressure, right? If you had known that before, maybe not. I just want to ask, which level of, of autonomous driving are you guys building? Sorry, say that again? What level of autonomous driving? Like oh, okay, five? so you're getting like really deep there. Um, so there's five levels of autonomous driving, level one being really more of an assistant, kind of like a naggy in-law who's beside you and telling you how to drive. Uh, and then level five, which is no steering wheel, no pedals, no driver interaction with the movement of the vehicle whatsoever. So it could be like a lounge on wheels, a way spa, a well.ca moving you from A to B as it were. Uh, anyway, so uh, this year, most of the pilots that are happening just because of the regulatory environment and also the maturity of the technology are level two and level three, basically. So you've got safety drivers behind uh, the wheel of the car and level four. It's still a couple years away before we see level five um, in, a, in a public setting. You'll see level five in closed circuits, but in a public setting, we're still quite a, way, a few years away from that. Thank you. Okay, yes. That's it. Thank you very much.